off of what Emmanuel was like was saying, like I know, like I think uh, all of us, we, I mean, maybe not all of us, but we all had like similar experiences, like mm-hmm. more so. It's like I know, like for my like first kind of like relationship, the one I actually took seriously, like she treat me like, like she treat me like she treat me like trash. Or like I'm trying to like, open up to her, like really like talk to her, like really like yo, like and she's like, oh no, I remember like this is yo, I remember, I'll never forget this one time, bro, like. You remember this, like, she ain't talked to me that whole weekend. I started mm-hmm. playing John Legend, like, yeah, in the house. Like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my room, I just hear it. We're just ordinary people. 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 And like we stopped, like so we stopped doing each other. She went off to college, and I was still in high school at the time. Yeah. And then I went off to college, and then when I went to college, she started like, hitting me up, like, and I'm like in my head because of that situation, I was like, yo, I guess girls like being treated like trash. So I just was like, all right, cool, like, like she would text me, and I, I just wouldn't reply, then I would go home, like, yo, what you doing, like, slide through, like, because it's like, because I'm not like, because I'm not about to sit here and try to like work, because I already like, I already know how you operate, because like when, when I wanted us to be together, and I was like down for everything. Mm. You were just like, oh, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Like you, like you would see me in school, walk past me, not say anything to me, but I was your boyfriend. That's strange. Yo. Oh, but and I was like, I'm like, hey, hey, you see me? Hey, I'm like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> but especially like as a guy, like where it's like, I didn't come into like myself as far as like the confidence I have right now. Like even my looks too. It's like it's like sophomore, junior year, high school. Where it's like. I yeah, was, I'll yeah. put a picture around the screen probably. Oh, yeah. 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 I, was like, I, was like, I was like, I was just starting. Like, I was just starting to like get attention from other women too. Yeah. So just like, so I didn't like, I didn't know how to, I'm like, yo, like, I like you and like, you're playing me. So because of that, I was like, all right, cool. And then when I, when I started like training like trash, that's when you start like responding to it. I'm just like, all right, cool. So when I went off to college, Everybody, I was just treating all the girls, treating them like trash, and like girls were flocking. I'm just like, oh, so I gotta treat you like. I, I was like, <laughs> so I'm like, like yo, 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 Correctly, like, mm. and I'm just like, and once again, her people, her people. So I'm over here, just like, um, like I guess I'm supposed to be this. Like I was just so nonchalant with everything. Like mm. I remember, like I, I traveled for like a conference, came back. Like I, I, was, I was dating this girl at the time. Traveled for a conference, came back. She like was like she did everything. She like came to my like came to my room. Like oh I miss you. Like got me like balloons, flowers, all stuff that I had. I was gone like. I was gone like the whole like nice. weeks, so Much and I was just like, nice. and I was like, <laughs> and just how I replied, I was like, oh thanks, and went to sleep. Like, yo, like, the actual like thing of like actually like yo, like I really appreciate you, like thank you, like mm. I didn't know how to do it because I think it's like yo, like I tried that nice guy thing, like mm. I'm like alright, cool, so I'm gonna be trash, and y'all y'all go to give me all this attention and call it a day. I think with the people all around, um, like being around them for so long, and you know, just the way that they acted, and see, I saw the way they treated women, you know, and I saw they got all the girls, and you know, me, the, the Nigerian kid that, that wants to be the cool guy, and I like, same same thing with you, you know, I didn't come, I didn't come into my own, and didn't yeah. give me get my confidence either. Yes. For, uh, yeah. For yeah. For. Yo, we're we're zoning all over here. But eventually, like, I, I wanted to join in with it, so I was like, okay, all right, so I'm gonna. Learn from y'all, see the way I treat these girls, and I'm gonna treat them the exact same way because I wanted to be part of the cool group. I wanted to be popular. Um, wanted to join in with all the funk, and uh, all, at the end of the day, I turned into a monster. Uh, I'll, I'll be exact with, with, uh, with that word. I turned into a monster because it's like, okay, it's like Frankenstein. You took pieces from all different, all different friend groups and how they treated these women, and now you're the worst out of all of them. I'm just gonna build off of that. Like, the the company you keep really determines the outcome of who you Facts. will be as a person. Like, sure. If you're around like, uh, I'll use guys first, if you're around dudes that all they wanna do is smash and pass and, and keep it moving, keep it pushing, like they wanna be, they just wanna get the bodies, 
you eventually you're gonna want to get the bodies too. Like, mm -hmm. um, I think uh, my pastor said it one one way. Like, there's no way you'll pass a bakery bake, baking fresh bread every day and smell the bread outside and you not walk into the bakery and be like, yo, I want some let me bread. let me get a piece of. You're gonna walk in like, yo, let me just try this out. So, and then every day you'll be buying bread, buying bread. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I, and then and then ladies like, you know, for real, for like. Y'all gotta watch the friends y'all got too. Like, sure. yo, female friends, because, like, I be seeing on, like, whether it be Twitter or I just be hearing, like, because at the end of the day, we all get to, like, what's going on around us. Like, if you have a friend that's telling you, like, oh, he hurt you, so why don't you go do this back? Like, if the first thing that comes out of your friend's mouth is revenge, I don't think that should be the type of people you should be. A friend should be helping you heal from whatever hurt you got, not trying to build off of that hurt and, like, use it as a, now as a weapon. Like, yeah. that's not what true friends are all about. If your friends can't point out mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. that this is where you messed up, then all they're always going to say is that, yo, like, it's nah, for, them. forget her. Like, she's the one who did that. But, like, but then, like, like, it takes two to tango, so. Yeah. And so, as Christians, we're supposed to be able to see um, things that are not of godly or, or things that are not, you know, what we would like ideally and still be able to react in a peaceful manner mm -hmm. and not just take things that are trash and then react with trash. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. But, um, those were times where we wasn't as mature as we are now. So, yeah. Yeah. But now, yeah. you know, yeah. so, and we had everything yeah. really great. Now, about young that. Patrice, let's say that like, you do go through something like that. Like, as a man, I feel like you really have to make sure that you're over whatever, like, whatever it is that you are before you, like, step yeah. into anything. So that like, is we said it, like, earlier today in church, like, you know, like, we always pray that, yo, God, like, I want this person, I want this person. It was like, are you the person that, are you like, are you the person that the person that you're praying for like, is looking for? Yeah. I'll say one thing, like, um, we don't give ourselves enough time to heal. Yeah. yeah. When, when we go through hurt, yeah. we jump to the next thing too soon. soon. Yeah. Yeah. We carry that hurt and mess something up that could potentially be good. Yeah. Now they say like, it's not just like timing is everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You can be with the perfect person, but the timing isn't right. Mm. And I use myself as an example. Um, past, well, my past relationship. Um, I, I remember I said earlier that you know, sex, sex was a huge thing when, when I tried calling that off. But also my insecurities from the, past, the, past, the, the, yeah. the, the crazy girl that I had before that was going on dates with all these dudes. Dang. Um, like, <laughs> when I was with her, like when I tell you. Trust. <laughs> when I tell you like like when I say trust like hundred percent like I'll be chilling with her phone be going off like she'd be like oh I didn't even ask her she'd just be like oh my friends are just texting me so much like telling me I'm not even thinking about it I'm just like yeah. whatever like I'm not really worried about mm -hmm. that when I find out down the line that yo she was like getting hit up by all these dudes mm -hmm. going into my next relationship I became that boy like yo. chilling with you and your phone go off I'm like Yo, you know what I mean? I'm like, 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 I'm
how do you heal it? Like, th now this is this is to go forward in, in the conversation. Like, okay, we know that we're trash. Women are trash, low key. Some women are trash. Some guys are trash. But I do think it comes back to those things that we're talking about, whether it be lust and stepping out, and then also about the thing of healing. So how do we as forget Christians? Like, how do we heal as you know? I feel like the biggest thing for all of us is really like know how to be single. Yeah. Cause I feel yeah. that's like that's like the new like topic and thing nowadays. But it's like successfully like, single. Like yeah, successfully single. Like right, there's a whole lot of like and not not, not single. Talk, with but like not single. Like like a lot of us be like oh because I'm like I'm single because I don't have a girlfriend. But like single just like be by yourself. I know you said um like not the the Christian way or whatever. But I really feel like there's only two ways to be here. It's either you're doing it the way God has it lined up for us to do or you're doing it like in, in a worldly fashion. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like in a worldly fashion, it's just, it's not like a real healing because it's just, you're just- Putting stuff on top of it. Yeah, like you're just bearing. pressing it and pushing it. Like you're just bearing it. Mm -hmm. You're not really like, you're not killing this thing though. So if you see something that resembles what you've done before, it will, it will uproot what, yeah. what you buried. Instead of, if you heal it, it'll deal with it and be gone forever. Yeah. But the only way to really heal and to erase these things permanently is to, you know, you gotta spend time with God and you're single. You're yeah. not gonna be able to. People, it's, full, it's funny, like, oh, let's go with God again. Like, that's cool to know, it's cute to say, but bro, like, come on. Neo. It's not, it's, that's not really how it's, it's gonna work when you, especially if you're trying to get, like, healed yeah. all the way. Like, you gotta, you can't be worried about somebody else and how to, uh, not to say, like, you gotta, I mean, you kinda gotta be selfish sometimes. Because, I like it, so. with your healing, bro, it's not something that somebody else can give you. You can't get healing from another person. Mm -hmm. So, you gotta be able to spend time with God and, um, like, really, like, digest and not be to understand what God has in store for you because it's like either that way or you're just it's it's artificial. Yeah, you really gotta know who you are. Like, in this time of sickness, like, you gotta learn who you are. And I feel like it goes beyond just healing. Uh, after you heal, now you gotta, like, you gotta have kind of like, because because I feel like we, we, we live in a broken world, so I feel like honestly, you can still chase after a godly woman and pursue a godly woman and still possibly get hurt. So it's like, yeah. so are you, so what? what is, so what if you get hurt again? Mm -hmm. So I don't wanna just be getting hurt and I have to heal, getting hurt, you gotta heal, you gotta like adapt yourself in a way where if you get hurt again, you're so solid in yourself mm -hmm. that you're not gonna let that shake you, Yeah. right? Because I feel like when we, when we did get hurt back in the day and then like women hurt us and we turned, we turned into this type of savage yeah, type person, true. we weren't solid in ourselves, you know, we didn't know what to do, or we, were still, we were still insecure and stuff like that. So yeah. we kind of took that in the wrong way and, and, and changed it to somebody that we're not. So but like, if you get solid and grounded in who you are, like you, like you said, like, this is who I am in Christ, who, this is who I am in God, I'm not that person. I could get hurt a billion times, God forbid, but I'm still solid. I'm still who I am. I'm not gonna let nobody change who I am. I'm not right. gonna let nobody, you feel me? Just mm -hmm. like, you can't let people just have power over you, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. change it like that. So yeah, we just, it's not even just about getting healed. It's about even like preparing for the future. It's mm -hmm. like, even if you get hurt again, you're not, it's not gonna phase you. Mm -hmm. We got one more question, so. All right, let's handle it, bro. Why do some men say how much you love God but won't actually take the time to know him personally. Mm. Mm. Like, yeah. But like, what you need to understand is that it's a journey. Yeah. So because you say you love God and you're not spending time to get to know him in the present, mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's not something that's gonna happen moving forward. Yeah. Like everybody is at different levels. Like, in different, different, different stages in their walk. Exactly, yeah. different stages in their walk with Christ. So you can love God, but haven't really committed the time yet mm -hmm. to get to know him. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't, just, my, 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 no, you go ahead. I don't know if this makes sense, but um, I got kind of, I kind of, I, <laughs> I got like this. I, I don't want to call it a theory, but I feel like there's a difference between like loving God and like knowing God. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can love, you can have love for almost anything, but until you get to know this thing, then that will that will determine on how you act after that. Mm -hmm. And I can love, I can love. Chinese food and say like, all right, it's the best food in the world, but until I try a certain thing and it, uh, it, I digest it and it affects me however it does, now that I know this thing is, is what it is, then that will alter how I act prior to that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of people say, oh, they love God, they love God, just to, just to say it. They don't really have like a personal relationship with God or like their own experience with God to alter how they move in life. So I feel like people who say, oh, I love God, I love God, like if you don't, have your own. I mean, I don't because I'm not one to judge somebody's experience with God, but I feel like that's the the the, the criteria from like, I'm, like it's the difference between loving God and knowing who God is. Because yeah. if you know God, it's, it's going to alter how you act. There's no way you can know who God is and be in 
happily in sin and happily in yeah. so I feel like it that's 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 just to go on that like you know I don't think I have to be happily in sin so for I'll use myself as an example so like I, I would say I fit that question mm -hmm. or that comment like how do you say you love God but not spending the time because I can say I love God because I've had the experience I've had encounters yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I've gone to conventions and I've, I've felt the encounter with God you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I've had that feeling but also now being in the world um there are different things you prioritize sometimes no, for sure. in life, um, and you find reason not to deepen that that walk, mm -hmm. deepen that understanding with God. Like, yeah. I'll be real, like I can't remember the last time I picked my Bible up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But the, I don't think that means like, oh, I don't love God or anything like that. Yeah, I just haven't found like I mean, I've been there, made the decision to go deep to that level yet, and I don't know. I feel like a lot of times, like, I'm trying to think, as I'm, as I'm talking, I'm trying to think, like, well, why is that? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I'm think, I think it's, like, the, the things we do in the world, I think that that has a big factor as well. Not, like, whether we want to admit it or not, like, so, like, the life we're living, right? Mm -hmm. So, we still want to be able to hang out with our boys. And for me, personally, as I'm thinking about it now, I think it's the fear of the things I would have to not do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once, yeah. I, once, once I get deep in it, like, I feel like it's the thing that I, that I probably already know now that I shouldn't be doing, mm -hmm. but then once you actually go that route, yeah. and then it's like, you really gotta make like that game, you really yeah. gotta make that decision, yeah. like, is you in, is you with me or what, like, yeah. type, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like it's that, that's like, a hinders for me at least. And I think it also stems from a lack of inconsistency or diligence with um, God, because, you know, we find ourselves, you know, a lot of times, personally for me, I read my Bible, and then... I read my Bible for like a day, whatever, and I don't get that, I guess, inspiration or whatever it is. I don't get feel closer to God or anything. So that kind of discourages me for not doing it the next day. And a lot of times I look at the bigger picture. I look at where I want to be in God, but I fail to look at, you know, where I'm at right now and take this day by day mm -hmm. and realize it's going to be a journey, not like, you know, I'm not going to get there just off of one one day of reading, yeah, one day of reading my Bible is a day to day thing, and sometimes I over, I kind of get overwhelmed with the level that I want to be at with God, and um, I think like, oh no, that's too hard, but I don't, you know, take the time to take it day by day, so I'm, I'm out here still, you know, I think I'm gonna read the Bible one day, and I'm gonna be already like this great, amazing man of yeah. God, but I don't, you know, yeah, right. it's, it's a day to day yeah. battle, it's a day to day yeah. struggle, yeah. so I kind of, I don't take it little by little, I'm kind of like getting overwhelmed, so that kind of just discourages me from taking it from um discourages me from being diligent i'm not as consistent with my with my word as i should and i think david said um one of his verses was like he said um how can a young man cleanse his ways mm -hmm. and he said by taking heed to the word of god and it's like that word he like take heed on um, will be, be obedient to it mm -hmm. it's, it's not just reading that you gotta feed yourself but you gotta meditate it and, and it's like yeah day by day yeah even if it's one verse day by day and meditate that's yeah. the thing Meditate. We read and we don't meditate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We read and like, you yeah. know, all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 It sounds good. Like, check it off. And yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, I read it. Yeah. The biggest thing um, in relation to that is that we're trained as in, in the world to think about the bigger picture so yeah. that we can get to our goal. Mm -hmm. Rather than when it, when it comes to Christ, he's more worried about the day yeah. because he sees the bigger picture. And I think he, we already know that. And he knows that if we see the outcome, because yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, God's plans are way greater yeah. Yeah. so it's not like you know finish the end of a project to build even, <clears throat> even build like a skyscraper you like you say oh okay this is what it's gonna look like when we're done okay this is what we have to do with, with god like if we were to show you like again where he did purpose for you and he really desires for you to be in life you'll be like you'll be like nah i don't want to go on this path like i'm good but youtube fam that is we can we can be here all day and be rapping about this because this is our lives like yeah, right. this is an amalgamation of like years and decades yeah, yeah, so <laughs> we're trying to put it into like this amount of a crimped amount of time but um first of all before we even wrap up I, on behalf of men not that we in particular maybe hurt anyone who's watching if we have we're sorry but on behalf of the men all in all seriousness we're, we're sorry we want to say sorry um, I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not not I learned even through just asking the question leading up to this video that there's a lot of hurt out there, especially uh, amongst women, amongst you guys out there. So um, we apologize. And, and at the end of the day, um, God loves you. Um, the right man will love you. Um, 
and that at the end of the day, whatever healing you need to get, um, get that because again, hurt people do hurt people. And when that person comes around who wants to love you for you, wants to love you and work with you and, and be there for your journey, um, when he comes around, we don't want um, you to now hurt him because of your hurt that's not dealt with yet. And the same goes for, for the, for the um, guys watching. Don't start continuing the cycle of just thinking as a woman as a number, as um, just a piece of meat, whatever you, whatever you think, just a quick body, that's, that's not what they are. They're, they're there to help you, for real, for real. You're hurting yourself by hurting women if you think about it. Because God created Eve to be a help me, to expand what God has given, to make bigger, bigger and better what God has given. So by hurting um, women, you're only hurting yourself when she's supposed yeah. to be the one who's elevating right. you. Yeah, so right. that's, you know, one thing, men, make sure that before you enter marriage and that if you are into marriage, know why you're there. Mm -hmm. um, make sure, do a self-assessment and know, am I healed? Am I good to go? Am I ready to lead a family? Because that's what you're going to do. It's not, she ain't leading you. Yeah, she, really her. you she ain't leading your kids. Is you. They can call you daddy, they can call you daddy, what about this? And the last word in, in your house at the end of the day is going to be with you. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, if God's not leading you, if you're not healed, there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, dangers along the way yeah. if you're not yeah. um, healed and, and walk with God and knowing and loving women. Real quick, um, I wanted to say, to kind of like piggyback off what you were saying, it's like, um, this, I don't want to say it's my theory because I heard it, but I'm just going to claim it. Um, it's like, um, <laughs> like women are the neck and men are the, the head. And it's like, <laughs> Just imagine what you would look like with no neck. Mm. What? Mm. what? Turtle Nobody, neck. Can't, can't, you big turtle, turtle neck. neck. Can't, oh, can't little function, goose neck. You can't function without your neck. And woman, there's no point of you having the neck without a head. So it's kind of mm. like we have to be we have to be, to be able to work together, be able to see each other, you know, be on one accord with each other eye to eye, yeah. and be able to, you know, do these things correctly. But if you damage it, everything you come across, nobody wanna you're gonna be out here headless or neckless. <laughs> <laughs> come on. But YouTube fam, thank you so much for, for tuning in today. Um, we hope you enjoyed. Please, if you have a, a comment, if you want to reply to one of these guys, if you want to call one of them trash from what you heard, you saw those. <laughs> Mr. Asalu. You don't got to call me trash, though, but. <laughs> I mean, well, my name is Swaggy Nigeria. It's going to be right in this drink. It's going to be right Swaggy right? Nigeria. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no neck. No neck. Power to his people. Just look me up when we kind of come talk. Bless underscore highly on Instagram. And one more time. Alright, EO Thor Original is gonna be right here as well. You went viral, right? It's been viral. You feel me? Yeah. You went viral. So you find them real easy. It's, it's, a, it's a pin tweet. tweet. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much. Again, comment on this video, like the video, share it with your friends, share it with, with your mama, share with your daddy, share with your sister, share, share, share with, with your friends, share with your church, share with the block, share with the hood, your mama, share with everybody. Share with that trash guy in your life. Yeah. 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 Find your nearest trash man and share with him. Put it right here. <laughs> God bless y'all, man. We love y'all. No, we appreciate you. Um, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Gang, gang, gang.